Hello and welcome to another episode of Friday Fly Day. Today we are tying a Euro style pheasant tail jig nymph and uh, yeah, let's get on to it. So with the 3.3 millimeter black nickel tungsten bead on the uh, jig hook, which is a size 14, I'm just going to lay a base of this orange power thread. This is 140D, you'd probably be a little bit better off with something thinner like 70D for this size, but this is what I have. So we're going to use that thread. I'm taking my copper wire for the rib and I'm tying it in on my side of the hook. And I'm just going to try and limit the thread wraps here. Okay. And I'm going to take about four to six strands of pheasant tail. Snip that off. And I'm going to measure it about the length of the hook shank, transfer that. And then I'm going to do a pinch wrap over there. Get that, trap it, and give it one, two wraps, three wraps to get a tag, an orange hotspot tag. And then I'm going to bring my thread forward. And now I'm going to wind my pheasant tail away from me, or you could use the rotary function of the, this is a, Stone Creek rotary vise and then wind that pheasant tail forward and catch it with your thread. Okay, now we're going to snip the excess off. And I'm going to take my copper wire now and counterwind that. I'm trying to get three or four wraps in front of the hook. Okay, I'm going to wrap my thread around the copper wire and catch it. Do that again and catch it. Then I can use my bobbin to brace and I can just helicopter that copper wire off. Okay, there we go. I'll trim that excess there. Now we are nearly done here. I'm going to put some Loon Low Tax Swax wax on the thread. Okay, you can create a dubbing loop here or split the thread as well if you want, but I don't think that's necessary. So I'm um, for the dubbing, I'm using some spiky squirrel fur, and I'm just loosely dubbing that onto the hook. A little bit more. Okay. And then I'm going to wind, starting back where the pheasant tail ended, wind, wind, and just pull back as I wind, and moving forward. Create that, and then I'm going to use my toothbrush to just brush that back a bit and brush out the excess bits. You want it spiky, but it doesn't have to be too much of it, okay? Because you want that orange hot, hot spot thread to shine through a bit, okay? I'm going to do a few ones there to create another hot spot. And then I'm going to put some Loon UV Clear Fly Finish onto my thread. I use this these days instead of super glue. And I'm just going to whip finish with that on there. And then I'm going to hit it with my torch. And all I have to do is snip off the thread, have a check of the fly. 
And there you go, a Euro Jig Pheasant Tail Nymph. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please like and subscribe to see more of these videos. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.